We got GoPros in hand and uh, we're doing something today that is super interesting. We're actually moving a 1968 excavator. <laughs> F no, are you kidding me? See, Joe, it's actually his uh, excavator. He just showed up here and he laughed because I drove over from my office that's over there to here and he made fun of me. Okay, we're gonna go down and load this thing up. Should be interesting. Time to fire the old girl up. There she is, the old 68 Atlas. That everyone in the comments was going, oh, you're too rough on it. <laughs> Have you seen the fucking thing? <laughs> All right, let's see how much smoke comes out of destruction. That's the name of it, by the way, guys. It's the destruction, destruction. Hey? Oh, they don't build them like they used to. He'll bring her out and we're gonna load this on the trailer. It is a really awkward size, this 1968 loader. The boom and the stick are such an awkward size and the cab's tinier. It's just really hard to kind of float. It's like one of the, probably the trickiest things that I've ever floated. Um, so I'm, help, I'm thankful that he's giving me a hand with it. I'll watch traffic. Good there. I needed to get them down on this metal plate. We were resting on this before, so we literally needed like two, three inches. We don't mm. want to damage those hydraulic lines. No, and that's what she said. So for chaining up, I'm going to do one over the boom and then track to track at the back, track to track at the front. So we have five touch, five point touchdown, whatever you guys want to call that. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. The guy just went by, he was looking at us filming. It's because we're stealing it. That's what I forgot to mention to you guys is we don't, none of us own this, so it's actually stolen. We just found it. Keys were in it. Key, keys were in it. 68. 68. Something right on the edge here? Yeah, right here. hit me. Did it? Yeah. You missed. Fuck it. Yeah, okay, E-Man. Making fun of me now. <laughs> People in the 
comments comment about these binders and how they're not safe, that's pretty much what they're talking about. It's because the ratchet ones, you just ratchet. These ones, like, that happens. I've taken out a windshield on a shovel doing that. The bar came up. Well, at least I didn't take out my teeth. Yeah, I wasn't so much worried about the teeth. Your teeth more than the machine. Might have broke the front windshield. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was exciting. Now we're going to do the front. Yeah, you start doing the front, I'll back up the truck. If your wife's watching this, Claire, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I always knocked all his teeth out. I think it's time for some new binders. Putting flags on just because I'm over a little bit. I just want to be safe. Okay, we're all loaded. I'll show you guys. We're just going to turn on my lights. Okay, well, this is her. We got chains on the front, chains on the back, boom. Five chains total, flags, all bear trapped, all wired. We'll set the GoPro outside and let's go move it and unload it to its final destination. Unloading it is the actual tricky part, so make sure you're doing that. Alright, you guys went on a little tour with Joe. We're all unloaded, back hooked up. We're good to go. Nothing beats floating a shovel from 1968 on a beautiful sunny Monday afternoon. That's how we like to start them. I want to remind everybody to subscribe and if you're not subscribed, show some support and hit the subscribe button. 62.7% of you guys that watch the videos aren't subscribed. So please show some support, subscribe and to the people that are subscribed, thank you very much. You guys already always know, head over to my Instagram at KBDC2000. Floated, the oldest piece of equipment I've ever floated. The old atlas. If you're going, man, I wanted to see more of it. I filmed the entire thing and it'll be up on the tube. The tube. All right. Other than that, that's the end of this 1968 long haul. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.
And of course, I didn't forget about you guys, the true ones, the true patrons of the channel that watch the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. I'm currently underneath my desk in my office. Why? I don't really have a good explanation. But if you guys watch the entire video to the very end, I want you guys to comment down below, make them like they used to. Why make them like they used to? Joe said it earlier on in the video and he's very right with what he said. They don't make them like they used to. That shovel was super, super heavy. The, the motor on it, just everything about the aspect of old machinery. It's just, they don't make them like that anymore. So if you guys watch the entire video to the very end, comment down below, make them like they used to. I of course appreciate you guys. Have an awesome week. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care.